So can we also make the argument that, well, women then cheat, but when they cheat, it's more of an emotional connection where for a guy, it could just be, I don't know. Yeah, I think, um, obviously this is also an opinion, but I think that men are more animalistic and, you know, they, it's instinctual. more- Instinctual. Yeah, instinctual. I think a woman cheats far before she cheats physically. Ooh. If she is emotionally in- attracted to you, you know, and if she's in a relationship, that that's for me it's some form of cheating right because you you have someone how can you allow that that space to open up for someone else right and like i said i mean a woman can have sex with anyone doesn't necessarily have to be invested emotionally but i think that she will cheat way before she actually cheats physically so would you consider that cheating if they're mentally you know absolutely texting other guys or for me yes for me i believe that is a form of cheating cheating is an art that modern women have mastered throughout their busy lives. Busy trying to manipulate guys to do what they want, and busy trying to seduce other men just so these women can monkey branch off to other men with a higher socioeconomic status. As she said in the clip, cheating is more of an emotional thing for women while it is physical for men. The thing with physical is that it's short term. Emotional cheating, it's more than what meets the eye. Hypergamy, is when women find a good match, they will still delay and see if they can do better or attract an even higher value man. Or, if she finds a good match, she will monkey branch to a potentially higher value male while she's with you. While she's with you, her subconscious mind is always telling her that she can do better than this and she will be on the constant lookout for a better guy. You shouldn't be surprised as this is in her natural biology. But is she constantly looking 24 7 for a better guy than you the answer is no she will stick around as long as you have a frame and she respects you and you have other options and are on your purpose but slowly if you start slacking frame and make her your first priority in life instead of your ambitions then don't be surprised if she cheats or dumps you she likes the idea of you and wants to be part of your life but she doesn't want your life to revolve around her where the majority of men get it wrong, and I learned the hard way as well that, as you become close and spend more time with her, you slowly start to open up and lose frame. The worst thing a man can ever do is open up to women. The best advice I got was from an older player which was that women have this idea ingrained in them that men are strong, stoic, and non-motional beings. Just imagine a lion for a second. We have this idea ingrained in us that a lion is the king of the jungle and a strong animal that can kick ass. But say, this lion was to show weakness and open up. What would happen? You would shit test the hell out of the lion like it's nothing because you now know that it was all talk. And you would think to yourself as a fool that you ever thought this lion was so strong. In just a matter of seconds, all this respect you had for the lion as the king of the jungle would go down the drain, and you would now look at the same lion as weak. The same exact way women see men once they open up and show any weakness. That's why being emotionally stoic and strong and showing no emotion in front of women is very necessary. My dad died? Did I lose my job? Or did any tragedy happen in my life? No one cares. If you want to open up, go cry to your best friend, but never in front of women. I learned the hard way, and we all made mistakes. The only person that can fix your life is yourself. Good friends will give beneficial advice, but no one can make you do anything except yourself. And women? She fears that if you open up to her, she'll lose all the respect she had for you. She cannot fix your problems, and if you think opening up to her will make her respect you more, that's the easiest way for you to get cheated on and make her drier than the Sahara Desert and she'll leave you faster than lightning strikes. Always remember that lion analogy. Coming back to hypergamy, the reality is that the average woman who is liberal-minded and who went to college has had more than sausages stuffed in her mouth. Most women are only short-term material. If you think of marrying any one of them, then I'm sorry. There isn't a bigger fool than you. After getting used and abused by many bad boys in her prime days, the majority of women then become emotionally broken and damaged. 
man-hating feminists, whom you will never be able to please. Why? Because she has experienced it all. Now, her standards are even higher. To have fun around, women will only choose the bad boys ever, who make their panties soaked by even the thought of him. And after she had her fair share of fun, she will then blame those bad boys for being so toxic. A lot of people have a misconception of girls being good and think they will submit to their husbands till the day they die, once they get married. But girls are one of the best players out there preying on the beta bucks after having their fair share of fun in university. Beta bucks who put their head down and study for 12 long hard years for a good salary and think it will make women attracted to them and to find a good wife is only suitable for her after she had her fair share of fun and wants him for his lifelong, comfortable income, and as a husband, material. But deep down, she wishes she could have it all, and wishes that her husband would be like her unpredictable exes. But she didn't marry the bad boy because either he didn't stay around, because they aren't wealthy, or because of what others will think of her if she's with them. So she ends up settling with the boring safe guy, who will pay all her bills, but she will never be truly wet for him. Now. Many women think they are entitled to the top 1% of men, just because of their beauty. We have many simps who worship them, and because of social media validation and so on, many women think just because of their beauty, they deserve a high-value male. When in reality, many of these women lack character, femininity, and genuine respect for men. The only thing they are bringing to the table is their body. Other than that, nothing. They hate a man if that man provides no value to them. It all comes back to two things, which are money and attention. Which beta bucks provide, or the emotional roller coaster and drama that alpha males provide. Other than that, 95% of men provide no value to her. So, she dislikes the majority of men. The reality is, that there will always be a better man, in wealth, status, and looks. No matter how much you self-improve, there will always be a better man out there than you. But this doesn't mean you stop self-improving. The day you stop self-improving is the day you die. If she's with you right now, you're her highest option available. The day any higher value male comes along and interests her, or if you lose frame, she will be gone. All men must remember one thing, hypergamy doesn't care. No matter how many frames you have, or whatever you did for her, she doesn't care. It's in her biology to mate with the highest value male possible she can find, and she will leave you once she finds someone higher of value. And this is where, the harsh red pill truth comes in, and you have to accept the cold hard fact, no matter how much it shocks you. In conclusion, no matter how long you've been with her, you must acknowledge hypergamy is ingrained in her natural biology. Be emotionally stoic and strong, never open up, stay on your purpose, and don't make her the mother one priority in your life. The other best advice I got was, whatever it is, always do less with women, and the more they'll do with you. And in the end, if you follow everything, and she still ends up dumping you or cheating on you, then you must be stoic and acknowledge, in the end, she's never yours. It's only your turn. Thanks for watching The Circle of Kings. As always, we're looking forward to your support. So please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with everything all kings like yourself need to know.